Blue, diaper him, diaper him, diaper Greg up. Two cousins to rule them all, two cousins to find them, two cousins to bring them all and in the darkness. Drink them. Today we're two cousins drinking Buffalo Bill's pumpkin ale. Give it a little sniff. Ooh, that smells like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin spice. Specifically not pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. You'll notice the head just disappears yes. fast. It smells delicious. So we... <laughs> it does. Spice. I was just gonna... Cinnamon and nutmeg. Ready, ready to argue. Mm, it smells good if you like pumpkin pie, which I do. I do. I do. Alright, we're gonna taste it. Yes. That's what the beer's all about. Tastes like liquid pumpkin pie. Quite literally. I should say, they seem to have changed the name to Buffalo Bill's America's Original Pumpkin Ale. As of now, they are the oldest pumpkin ale. And historically, probably they aren't the first, but... Do you know about the history? Um, this specific recipe is a 1771 uh, George Washington recipe that this is based off of. I bet this tastes a bit of <coughs> pumpkin pie than his. It tastes like fruit. you go to the grocery store and buy the generic pumpkin pie. See, I first had this at the brewery like and really liked it. This is really? very pumpkin pie, and I'm not saying bad. If you love pumpkin pie, you're going to like this beer. I love pumpkin pie. I like this beer. Do you think uh, going through three of these is going to be tough? Any, any extreme sugary flavor is tough to do three times. Extreme! Would you like to discuss Buffalo Bill's Brewery? Sure. They're the second oldest continuously running brew pub in the United States. They took advantage of the new law in the in state of the, California in 1983 that allowed beer to be sold or it was brewed. Buffalo Bills, I believe, uh, I can go on record as saying, is the first brew pub I ever went to in California. It was founded by Bill Owens, 1983. Yes. He sold it in 1994. To, to, one, to the brewer, Jeff. Harry's. And he bought it for $70,000. Haha, Bill Owens, you screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> what? $70,000, uh, which he basically, it sounded like he maxed out all his credit cards because he couldn't get a loan from the bank. Here's something cool. On the bottle cap, it gives you a warning. You probably can't read it. Do not use teeth. <clears throat> the brewery's been around since 83. This beer has been around since 85. Yes, that's why they're the first. So they make a lot of beers, mm -hmm. but the ones that they bottle and sell in stores are all the fruit ones. I don't know if I'd want my whole brand to be fruit beer. To be fruity. But someone online said, oops, somebody forgot the hops. There's definitely no hop in there. So the flavors I read, cola edged roast. What is that? Cola edged cola roast. Cola I can understand. Coffee or molasses? Molasses, yes. Coffee, I don't know. Oh, I'm Greg. Oh, he is Greg. I'm the sweet Reverend JP! We're two cousins drinking. We have been two cousins drinking for probably a few minutes now. That's it, if you're still here. Well, thanks. Sucker. On uh, Rate Beer, they got a 26 out of 100. Beer Advocate, 1.98. It doesn't taste like beer at all. Yeah, the beer is it's overrun not... by the pumpkin flavor. Last right? time I was at Buffalo Bills, was with you. Blue, for the drink two, pants on. Ooh, Ooh explode with delight. It must be drink number two. Um, so off camera, we were discussing how this is um, maybe not something we drink two glasses of. Which saddens me. Yeah. Because I love Buffalo Bills, and I've mm -hmm. had this beer before in the brewery. But I swear it tastes different at the brewery when they make it there. I uh, endorse Buffalo Bills, but on the second beer, I'm not sure if I endorse America's First Pumpkin Ale. Perhaps no other brewery better personifies the maverick attitude of the microbrewing industry than Buffalo Bills. See, we just started the second one, and I'm... I don't want to drink anymore. Let's start gargling beer. 
I do recommend going to the brewery if you find yourself in Hayward, which whether you like it or not, at once in your life you will find yourself in Hayward. Yeah. Whatever we say about this beer, we would love to film at Buffalo Bills. Blue, diaper him! Diaper him! Diaper Greg up! I'm going through it fast. I, I don't know. I think it's kind I'm of slow down. I want to get through it. I don't feel good. I don't. <laughs> there's not oh, happiness there's in my no, stomach. There's nothing wrong with this beer. I'm really chugging through it. I don't like it. And I'm really <laughs> sad. But this the background is Buffalo Beer, Buffalo Bills Brewer. Uh, oh, 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 let me see. I would never do this to a beer. It's too too much pumpkin. Would you buy it? I would not buy this again. Would you try? Would you I try would try it? To, again at the brewery. Blue, call me Greg. I'm just I'm saddened by this because I love Buffalo Bills. I I need to be done with this. I'm gonna drag this out, Greg. I'm dragging it out. Imagine if you just kind of like pumpkin pie, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, hey, I'll try it, and then ah oh, ah, oh, <laughs> but pumpkin pie. <laughs> this is a horror story in my mouth. I'm gonna draw this last few sips out just to drive Greg mad. Drive me bad? <laughs> okay! Blue, are you ready? We're ready. Blue! Blue! Blue? Blue. Okay, You're it's the on. dreaded... And normally beer three is a tour de force of questions and psychological in-depth analysis of JP and his <laughs> Gandalf fetish. <But> today... <laughs> It'll be painful. <laughs> yes, <laughs> me and my candle finish. Enjoyable for you and the audience. But now, today... Blue. Blue. Can you edit this live? <clears throat> what celebrity living dead or fictional would you force to drink this beer with? See, now after we're on the third beer, I'm not thinking so highly of this. No. Who would you drink this with? With... I don't know her name. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Who is that? Aqua. Aqua? Is that the name of the band? Yeah. That's who I would drink this like with. Like you want to punish them for that song? You? I would drink this with Mason Reese. He's the ham boy. Ham he boy. was the ham boy. Can you superhero this beer? What superhero <sighs> has that beer? Is this beer? Does Take it have to seconds. be a hero or a villain? Can it be a villain? Villain, yes. This is like... The pumpkin fiend. This is sort of like a Skeletor, but it's, it's sort of like uh, Jack from yeah, yeah from uh, what's it called? What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Last Christmas, a pumpkin head guy was mad that it wasn't Christmas or pumpkiny Halloween. And then the night before some, Christmas. Nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> what was the question? What were you asking? <laughs> Jack Pumpkinhead, George Michael. That's what I got for you. I don't know what the question was. What Star Wars figure did you want to drink this with? I'd say William Shatner playing Han Solo. <laughs> I'm thinking of Admiral Akbar just because the color sort of matches. I'm thinking of Akbar. It's definitely like a it. trap. For sure. <laughs> it's a trap. Ooh, pumpkin beer. Ooh. I'm trap. smarter than I think. Greg brings out the smart in my drunkenness. <sighs> That's why the show works. I can say stupid stuff. I can, and Greg well, will agree with it and make me feel good about myself. Greg's like Kylo Ren to Punky Brewster's Ray. So on the two cousins drinking scale of... Uh, what? Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Uh, I love you, bro, to why am I in jail? This is a I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> what do you feel like? This is a... What? Who do I know that lives in the trailer park? <laughs> I'm having a good time, but I feel slightly unsafe. <laughs> you would not put this in your bunker for zombie Armageddon. No, probably not. Maybe it's an I would agree with that. Fifty Shades of Greg, what do you think of this beer? Final thoughts? I would, I would get a pint at the brewery if I'd had a few. You would not I buy. I would not that. buy a six pack. I would not advise buying a six pack. I agree. I have many cousins, but only one that will do a drinking show with me.